All right, boys. So Spark just came back with a fresh coldie. He's a little nervous because um, this compression gauge is going to tell us a lot. Yeah. So what happened was they were testing a week or two ago, uh, and they had issues. It just kind of died out, and uh, they don't know what happened. Put new plugs in it. Pulled on, pulled on. They were just kind of fed up and left. So first thing we're going to do is throw the gauge in it and see what she reads. We're hoping it's just something like a fuel pump. Right. This line is. I mean, it's it is what it is. Uh, who wants to hold it wide open? I'll yank it. Yeah. yeah. Five. Book forty. About seven poles. Okay, that's that's fine. That's very. See what the other side is. And this gauge, like I don't know. We don't know how good it is. It it usually is all right, but no, this is mine. It read. Remember we read my jig. This is a Lyle. My jig read like one hundred thirty. Is that the harbor? Is the valve tight in the end of it? With a I don't know. Yeah, valve core. You need to tighten them. Yeah, you take them out when you do leak domes. Right, right. That's enough. Usually when the valve core is out though, your gauge will go up and down. Yeah, it'll it won't spike hold. up and down. The yeah. valve core holds the compression in. And make sure when you do a compression test, throttle wide open. Did, yep. we, did we adjust the valves on this engine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, valve adjustment once a year. Yeah, on for a sure. strokes, for sure. And the chain that drives the rear tires could be loose. Could I should have the tether pulled off so we're not sparking when we're <laughs> doing that. But you all good? Yep. She's roached. I knew it did. Screw that one up. Damn. Well, must have leaned out. Do you think you leaned it out? It was warm. It was warm that day. Couldn't have leaned out. I don't know. Are you gonna see a lot of this is not both. Oh brother. Okay. You know, it felt too that. far too bizarre. Yeah. I had all that power coming out of that oh, corner. Okay. They always run the best before they go. Oh, they yeah. always do. <laughs> All right, well, transducer back in. We'll take her back to Tell Mad Mike. Okay. Take her back to Mad Mike and get her fixed up. We'll make up. some more power out of it. Yep. Just got and shave her down a little more yet. Mm. Um, I knew something was wrong. It's just... After two pulls, it then move off zero barely. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I think that's where our diagnostic process comes to an end, guys. Um, it's a sad day. Last of the full season, though, with no issues. Yeah. So that's always a plus, but... And at least it happened testing now. Yeah. Right? Looking like a goof. Yeah. Yep, yep. I didn't tighten the spark plugs, but this thing will never... Exactly. Wait, do you check the motor out real close? What? Do you check the motor out real close for anything that could have been... This side always really is a bitch in here. We need some spark plugs or something. Well, did the head gas come out? And it had no compression? It could have been blown out the whole year. Oh, oh yeah, right yeah, there. I bet you but blew a head gasket. It's thought. always been like that the whole year. You told me it was just spark plugs, so... It... Maybe you blew a head gasket. Well, hope so. Either way, at least I know. I just feel better. Yeah, it's a bit oily. Because, I mean, dude, I highly doubt like, it. It didn't lean... I don't think you lean seized it. I think you might have blown a head gasket. Because no. this thing was always rich. Yours was one that was lean. Yeah. So, right, potentially, guys... I'm gonna get copper head gaskets though. Them. I'll get copper ones. Yeah, I had them paper ones. So little little yeah, run. You could have, like I said, we we blew them out before. Well, my SRV blew it out an inch. I bet you did. I bet it. you blew a head gasket out. Well, because well, you when you pulled it over, how it sounded like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, take some no under load. Soapy water. Take yep. some soapy water right now and spray it spray around it. this thing. It's gotta come apart. We got a lot to do on this slope for next year. I'm not really going. I just well, I'm happy I know something at least. I kind of figured because it didn't pull over. Right yeah. I know my I know my I know my sled. I know my sled. But there's pizza waiting in the house, boys. Okay. All right. Well, uh, so I'm gonna stock the stove and stock I'm the old drink stove. The rest of the afternoon until Your sorrows run away from you. My sorrows run down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, yeah, I mean. Like I said, I think, I think honestly you blew a head gasket because be. there's no signs of it. We, we sprayed every air leak on that, Mark. No. And like we did the full, 
rebuild bottom up. And like I said, the only thing it would not have leakage. it would not have blown up on that day. It was warm outside. It was about thirty degrees. <clears throat> no, we we're pink rich. It would have blown up at least in that one week. Well, you would have, and the way it did spark, if it lean seized, you would have. It would have been tight. Yeah. You didn't stick it. No. You didn't stick it. It, it says it isn't just gonna wear through the rings like that. Right. And the way I heard it when I was pulling over, it just was like. <clears throat> No, when I went to start it too, I was falling. I'm like, yeah. I, the other side looks healthy though. I'm healthy 130, 140. Because right away, once it happened, I ran up and I got a fresh set of plugs. You thought he followed a plug. I and think then we, we thought he was out of gas too, because he was kind of low oh, on we gas. Oh, head gasket, dude. So. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Dude, we're ready. I'm worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm worried. About worried it. sick? Worried sick? Worried, worried sick. sick? I mean, I'm worried sick, but we have a lot of work to do on it anyway. Yeah. Well, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we found the culprit of why uh, cylinder one had a little low compression reading. Oh, what's that? A little crack in the piston, huh? Hopefully that piece just went out the exhaust. Yeah, hopefully. hopefully I mean, it didn't score it bad if you look. The cylinder, oh yeah, it scored way at the top. You see that right at the top? Huge score. Right oh there. yeah. Yep. 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 Oh, man. That's gonna be a fresh board job. Maybe a plate job. Enticer cylinders? Oh, Overported cylinders. Yeah. <laughs> wow, buddy, that'll explain. Wow, I'll re ring it quick. <laughs> JB welded. JB, JB welded. welded. Right, well, no, yeah, right? The motor's gotta come out. Yeah. Alright. Well, that's cool. Alright. Nothing else on this side, no scratch and kill. I'll this make some noise for the other side. Oh well, yeah. Uh, no, I don't see anything on that side. It was, I just saw that right away. I buy that. Uh, cheap is good. They're, oh. oh boy, what a crack! What a crack! That's a healthy one too. Holy shit! At least it didn't blow the head gasket out. <laughs> it ain't much though. I mean, it it, it probably just is out the exhaust because on top. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that opens is the exhaust port. So if you're lucky, it'll go out the exhaust and you'll... And if it was really got in there, your cylinder would be way more fucked up than mm -hmm. that. It just got a little piece. It might have caught that and then it came out. Took it with. So why this is so wet, it could be... Could it have been pulling gas by and throwing it up? Why is it so wet? I, think, I don't know if it wasn't sealing around that bolt spark, like the... Maybe that head gasket was shitty. Maybe that's why. Mm hmm. Skitty pop. Oh, what was that gasket? What was that pull? Right? Was there leakage, like, by the face and then it would pull, pull over? Take, take a few sniffs, Mike. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that face says it all. Wow! Sparky, Sparky, Sparky looks at me and he goes, he goes, <laughs> he's just like, I shit myself. <laughs> See, these head gaskets only go on one way. Wow! That's sick. Whew. And we got the I mini bike over here, like guys. Right oh, look at this thing, dude. That's a separate video. Hold on. But, uh, yeah, guys. So, the exciter down to the cylinder right now. And she's not looking healthy. No, it looks piss poor. If only one more turn which, right there. Which there way you the go. head gasket there goes? Go. There. These exciters are offset. Mm. Cracked and piston, dude. Uh. Unreal. Road hard, we're gonna put it away wet. Right? Like we could box. probably clean that up. JB Weld it, you think? You gotta get a good flash. You want hell of a JB Weld job on there. Get Good the idea. sand that thing smooth. It's a real nice bore in there. It, it got a nick in it, mm -hmm. for sure. Dirty. You might be able to, when you hone it, it might kind of pull some material into there. Hmm. It's already 20 over, too. You might have to board 40 thing. over. No, I might be able to it What you gotta do is find a piston that works. Why did it crack a piston, though? Mm. Um, leaky head gasket wouldn't cost that, right? Maybe. Solid, runs good, needs work. I'm just, I mean, these exciters are just dicks, dude. Let's say we get the cylinders from the least, I'm sure they're ported the same damn way. Maybe this thing's just a lost cause. What a turd nugget. Okay. Put all the bolts back in there. Just 
loosely. Mm. Ah. We're excited. Well, that's a lot more catastrophic than a blown head gasket. Yeah, yeah. or a bad fuel pump, I mean, that matter. Yeah, <laughs> I was hoping. Oh no, everything else is good. Uh, I don't know why I cracked a piston, though. That's my only thought, and I don't know why. Oh, I called the scientist. Yeah, he's gonna have to tell us what happened. Mm -hmm. He's gonna tell us. We got a mad scientist that built these motors. Yeah, fuck. Well, I mean, right for you, man. Mm -hmm. Who welded that caliper bracket? <laughs> Who welded that? Older on there. Oh, that thing's never coming off. No. Yeah, so Sparky had some brake problems in a brake fire early on in the year. Melted and, uh, my primer lines too. I'm glad yeah. that they didn't melt all the way through. Yeah, so these primer lines right here were uh, definitely a little warm at a time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, thanks to the orange gloves that put it on. Mm -hmm. But good thing is that we found, I went up to a place in Amro, and we're not going to shout them out. But uh, got the caliper off of uh, Z, was that a ZL? ZR. ZR 580, ZR 600, yeah. whatever. But anyways, Willwood and uh, hooked her up and worked decent. Well, I'm just disappointed, buddy. Yeah. This thing is just nothing but problems. Yep. No, I have just one mishap. So we didn't, we actually didn't make it the full season without catastrophic failure. Technically, we did because we were pretty much done. We didn't have a cash truck failure Raider at a Bay. race. I mean, right. if we went to Benny Valley Road, we would have found this out Raider before Bay that. We could have repit. Put it, we have a new piston. We could have threw in it and just ball honed it and sent it. Sandpaper. <clears throat> just in one spot. Just. And then it's all uneven, so yeah. it's getting blow by. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I don't know what really causes a cracked piston unless it had like something, like some metal. No. Oh, it's a piston that had good wash on it. It wasn't dry. Must have came up and banged the head one a good time. And then that's what caused the base air head gas to leak. Mm, sucked in a fuzz. I'll ask Mike what he thinks and, and, and see if we'll go from there. We should really shake the other. Ask Mike. <laughs> we should really take the other side off real quick and take see a look. if there's a stress crack on it. We might as well. Yeah. Alright, boys, what's underneath our number two? <laughs> We need door number two. So Sparky, which door are we? Which door are we going today? Let's make a deal. You can either have door one with five hundred five hundred dollars out of your bank. All right, what, or you could have wait, door two. Take our bets. Are we having stress cracks? Crack coming? No, no hold on. Or mint? What listen we? here, listen here. So I got the Vegas odds. Um, right now it's plus two hundred for. <laughs> A crack piston and it's minus minus fifty for or minus a hundred for perfect. Jesus Christ. Thank you, it'll be perfect. Looks good. Looks good to me. Smells like Mike Merc oil. Like a motor oil. Oh yeah. No, that one looks good. Let me huh. turn it over a little bit. How's the bore look? Uh, little little bit of scuffs right there, you see that on the bottom? Where at? Right there on the bottom. Front, twelve o'clock. Right here, there's a little bit, of, unless that's just oh, crosshair. That's kind of normal though, because these are coated pistons. That's true, so yeah. Mike said they take a while to wear in. Yeah, good thing I coated them, because another decker. One's bad. You can build it on the other one. Just bore 140 over. They were all right. They look, I mean, this one looks And then Mark, fine. Mark, yeah. you, you make the intake on this side bigger? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Point that one out some more. Yeah, we're going to do. It's going to be tore back down again anyways. Right. My seats, I got We're gonna be doing pulse. some gear changes. Reupholstery, dude. Yeah, no, We're gonna do some gear changes. We're gonna do some bar changes. Yeah. Um, we want to make some butt pads so you can kind of hunker into position without fighting for it. Right, right. Um, we got skis to do. We're yep. Gonna do some stuff. But the thing is, is that we only need about 15, 20 hours of Instead of 100. Instead of 100. Yes, the main And uh, we're going to start early this year. We're, we're not, starting we're, in July. We're dude. not going to be goofs, guys, and we're going to start. Yep. No, we're going to work on it. We'll wait till we'll October, October or November. We'll wait we till December. we dirt bikes coming up. We'll be hot on the dirt yeah, bikes. Yeah, we're going to be high on the dirt bikes, guys. Uh, as you can see, we kind of got a full lineup down there. And we got two motors. And we got, uh, we got a mystery object we'll underneath. for some kettle, kettle moraine. I, I'm gonna take it on those windy roads from backwards from my school, dude. Those are dirty. But there's a mystery machine under here, guys, that we haven't yet talked about.